In a world full of horrific tales of crime and revenge, we'll look into the darkest corners of jail as we explore the lives of five notable prisoners who stunned the world by murdering their fellow cellmates. Get ready to see into these unstable people's minds. Number 5. Stephen Sanderson Sanderson, age 51, entered a plea of guilty to second-degree murder for the death of Dyer, aged 67, a native of Grand Haven, who was serving a 25-year minimum term for first-degree sexual offenses against a child under the age of 13. Sanderson already has a life sentence without the possibility of parole after killing his girlfriend in Wayne County in 1991. In a confession made to law enforcement the next day, Sanderson stated he confronted Dyer about his sentence and that he started assaulting Dyer after Dyer continued to resist trying to deny it or justify it. According to Sanderson, Dyer was strangled with his own shoelaces after being knocked out. Stephen D. Sanderson claims, according to Sanderson, some people believe he is a hero for having killed his child molester prison cellmate, but he wants everyone to know he is not. Sanderson said just before he was given a life sentence for what he did, he doesn't feel bad for what he did. He felt bad for maybe his family or something. But as far as remorse towards him, he showed none. In front of Borchard, he admitted guilt and maintained that he was not sorry. I didn't judge him. You know, I know God is the only judge we have. I've just set the appointment up. So, I don't feel bad for what I did, you know. I feel bad for maybe the families, his family or something. But as far as remorse towards him, no. Without making any additional remarks, Borchard handed down a life sentence with the possibility of parole for Sanderson. James Gust, Sanderson's lawyer, said that the punishment Sanderson got was meaningless since, according to Michigan law, Sanderson must serve his time for the murder of Dyer prior to serving his present life sentence without parole. Personnel from the Michigan Department of Corrections moved Sanderson to a higher level of detention following Dyer's death. He is currently being held in the highest security category at the Ionia Correctional Facility. Number 4. Julio Cesar Garza Garza assaulted his cellmate for more than seven minutes without stopping, causing injuries to the guy that were comparable to having a car driven over his head. For violent robbery, Garza had already been given a sentence ranging from five years to life. In addition to beating his cellmate to death, officers claimed he had committed numerous other offenses while inside, and that he had already been given numerous opportunities to behave differently. Carlos Adrian Javier Hernandez, the victim, was jailed for raping and murdering Keely Amber Hall, aged 15, in St. George when he was just 14 years old. He is now 24 years old. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison. I honestly didn't intend to take Carlos Hernandez's life, and there isn't a day that goes by that I don't regret what happened to him. I regret it every day, since my actions contributed to that, and we are all accountable for our choices, Garza said at the sentencing. According to law enforcement officials, this case was the most awful they had ever encountered. Garza is a nice father and has a decent heart, according to Constant Maestas, the grandmother of one of his two kids. She mentioned how she overheard him talking to his daughters on the phone. In my opinion, everyone deserves a second opportunity, not just for themselves, but also for his kids, stated Maestas. After giving everyone who spoke on Garza's behalf a chance to speak, 6th District Judge Wallace Lee thoughtfully considered the sentence but eventually came to the conclusion that the aggravating features of the offense outweighed the reasons that motivated Garza to commit the crime. Before imposing a life sentence without the possibility of release, he claimed that the abuse Garza suffered as a kid did not excuse or justify the brutality of his conduct. Before handing down his punishment, Lee told him, I want you to know that to me your life matters very, very much. The court observed that the crime was particularly heinous and brutal, but he also indicated that he took into account his duty to society and the public's protection. He added that while Garza was in prison, he had also committed additional violent acts. Number 3. Shane Goldsby In June 2020, Shane Goldsby, age 26, a prisoner from Washington State, killed Robert Munger, age 70, who was a convicted child sex abuser who had sexually assaulted his sister. He was given a new 25-year jail sentence. According to reports, Munger was imprisoned for 43 years for his child sex offenses. According to KHQ, Goldsby claimed he lost his cool as Munger started making fun of him about the rape which eventually turned out to be true. He told the magazine, I had so much going on in my thoughts. I wasn't mentally sound at that time. Not to me. I was at that point because Munger was wanting to tell me details about what happened. Right, he was like giving you details and shit. Like he was like- Yeah, he was mentally fucking putting like, big, like images of what he was doing in my head. What took you over the edge to just- When, when he told me what he did, when he, when he was about the photos, about the videos and about, you know, just- your little sister, bro. Like, my little sis, dude, you know? What he did, and about the pictures and footage of his carrying out these acts, it was rising my anger. 
He told the publication that he was seeking a new cellmate from the Washington Department of Corrections, despite the fact that this type of jail housing is prohibited by departmental protocol. Following an internal review, the DOC informed KHQ that screeners did not know the two were connected when they were put together. In the command area of the prison, Goldsby allegedly attacked Munger from behind, stepping on his head at least four times, and beat him 14 times in the face. In a heartfelt statement that was finished by his lawyer on Tuesday, Goldsby expressed his regret to Munger's family, KHQ reported. The statement stated, I can't understand what it would be like to lose a loved one in this kind of way. I apologize to his wife and his entire family. I'm really sorry and I sincerely hope you can get over what I did to you." In June 2020, Shane Goldsby received a 25-year prison term after entering a guilty plea to charges of second-degree murder. Number 2. Patrick Schroeder In 2006, Patrick Schroeder killed a 75-year-old farmer in Pawnee City over money and was already serving a life term. During a heist in 2006, he repeatedly beat the farmer with a nightstick before throwing him alive into an abandoned well, where the farmer ultimately died. At the Tecumseh State Correctional Institution in 2017, he strangled Terry Berry in his cell merely because he wouldn't shut up while they were watching television. 22-year-old Terry Berry was imprisoned for three years for forgery and assault. This is what Patrick Schroeder expressed in an interview after the incident. Patrick Schroeder knew that Mr. Terry Berry had only two weeks left on his sentence and that Schroeder had pleaded guilty to the crime and accepted the death penalty after being questioned by Judge Vicki Johnson. Schroeder even decided to forego his right to a jury trial, which was disturbing on its own. The three-judge panel will meet next to discuss Patrick Schroeder's punishment. Judge Vicki Johnson stated that the three-judge panel's decision to impose a death sentence on the prisoner was compelled by the law, not the defendant's intentions. In Are you certain that this is what you wish to do? Yes. Has anyone made any threats of any kind to get you to enter into this decision? No. Has anything, Bunny promised you anything to enter into this decision? No. Are you making this decision of your own free will? Yes. You think you understand all of the consequences of this decision, Mr. Schroeder? Yes. 2022, while still on death row, Patrick Schroeder was sentenced to death and is currently awaiting execution making him the 12th person serving a death sentence in the state of Nebraska. Patrick Schroeder attempted to cut his wrist and arm with a razor before killing himself by hanging from a sheet. Number 1. Jamie Osuna A convicted murderer from Bakersfield in Kern County, California, Jamie Osuna is a criminal in the United States who also claims to be a follower of Satan. After the authorities detained him for the alleged murder of Yvette Pina, he became well known. He was widely covered in the media after killing his cellmate, Luis Romero. At age 17, Luis was charged with second-degree murder and was subsequently arrested. He received a term for shooting and killing a lady in Compton on March 7, 2019. He was moved to Corcoran State Prison after serving 27 years of his original sentence. Jamie was placed in the same cell as Luis even though he had been without a cellmate since arriving. The body of Luis was found in pieces by the guards on March 9, 2019. He cut Luis's fingers and eyes with a razor blade. Jamie also cut Luis's lung and removed his ribs. He took off his skull and sliced both sides of his face to give Romero the appearance of a wide smile after disfiguring and dissecting him. I don't have no sympathy. I'm sadistic. I really don't care. I'll do it and I'll do it again over and over and over. The prison guards also discovered Jamie Asuna's necklace, which was constructed from pieces of Luis Romero. Following the horrifying murder, Asuna was committed to a mental institution where he was identified as having schizophrenia, borderline personality disorder, and antisocial personality disorder. He has been declared ineligible to face trial for Romero's murder. We witnessed several of them murdering their cellmates solely because they were child molesters. On the other hand, there were other inmates who murdered their cellmates just because they were annoying. Does being in prison really have that much of an effect on people that they turn to killing their fellow inmates? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments.